when your brain right now is talking, is it doing next word prediction? Or is it doing um, something more interesting? Well, it's definitely some kind of a generative model that's a GPT-like and prompted by you. Um, yes. So you're giving me a prompt and <laughs> I'm kind of like responding and, to it in a generative way. And by yourself, perhaps a little bit? Like, are you adding extra prompts from your own memory inside your head? Mm. Or no? Well, it definitely feels like you're referencing some kind of a declarative structure of like memory and so on. And then uh, you're putting that together with your prompt and giving away some answers. Like how much of what you just said has been said by you before? Uh, nothing, basically, right? No, but if you actually look at all the words you've ever said in your life and you do a search, you'll probably have said a lot of the same words in the same order before. Yeah, could be. I mean, I'm using phrases that are common, et cetera, but I'm remixing it into a pretty uh, sort of unique sentence at the end of the day. But you're right, definitely, there's like a ton of remixing. Why? You didn't, you, <laughs> it's like Magnus Carlsen said, uh, I'm, I'm rated 2,900, whatever, which is pretty decent. I think you're talking <laughs> very, uh, you're not giving enough credit to neural nets here. Uh, why do they seem to, wh wh what's your best intuition about this emergent behavior? I mean, it's kind of interesting because I'm simultaneously underselling them, but I also feel like there's an element to which I'm over, like, it's actually kind of incredible that you can get so much emergent magical behavior out of them, despite them being so simple mathematically. So I think those are kind of like two surprising statements that are kind of just juxtaposed together. And I think basically what it is, is we are actually fairly good at optimizing these neural nets. And when you give them a hard enough problem, they are forced to learn very interesting solutions in the optimization. And those solutions basically have these emergent properties that are very interesting. There's wisdom and knowledge in the knobs. Mm -hmm. And so uh, yes. this representation that's in the knobs, does it make sense to you intuitively that a large number of knobs can hold a representation that captures some deep wisdom about the data it has looked at? It's a lot of knobs. It's a lot of knobs. And <laughs> somehow, you know, so speaking concretely, um, one of the neural nets that people are very excited about right now are, are GPTs. Uh, which are basically just next word prediction networks. So you uh, consume a sequence of words uh, from the internet and you try to predict the next word. And um, once you train these on a large enough data set, um, they, you can basically uh, prompt these neural nets in arbitrary ways and you can ask them to solve problems and they will. Uh, so you can just uh, tell them, you can, you can make it look like you're trying to um, solve some kind of a mathematical problem, and they will continue what they think is the solution based on what they've seen on the internet. And very often, those solutions look very remarkably consistent, look correct, potentially even.